charging device. Look at how fantastic. It's really just a cradle. And then here you have the actual charging adapter with the plug, which you then plug in here. And if your kid likes this pedal car, you're going to need about 15,000 of these. I'm, I'm still not totally convinced that this is a significant enough power uh, source, but you know, it comes in the kit, you can use it, and really when it comes down to it, it's all about the fun uh, and enjoyment of building crazy stuff. Now, you're probably really excited right now trying to figure out what else comes in this fantastic set of stuff for 30 bucks. Well, I'll tell you, the most exciting flashlight you've ever seen in your life, look at that jobby right there. You take your battery, plug it in, and see, you got light. Isn't that super duper? Well, I tell you what, if you use this flashlight around your house and the neighbors see you, they're probably going to give you a hard time. So what I would recommend is you take the front bezel off like this, and here you got a super cool plastic lens. This thing looks awesome on the front of your retro Chinese pedal car thingy. Yeah, so, and you'll get two of these just like you're going to get two of everything else. Save that, that's really important. The bezel, worthless. And here you got your reflector, your light bulb, and the wires, which you really don't need. And uh, I just go ahead and snip these off right here because the housing in and of itself, again, worthless. There's a switch in the back, but you know what? I hope you don't use this switch in your son or daughter's pedal car extraordinaire because this is just, you know, people will laugh at you. So there you go. From the flashlight, you got your bulb, you got your lens, you got your reflector, you got your sockets all there. Put that to the side, don't lose it. Very mucho importante. And now you might notice the clever deception that they've done on this package. If you look really closely, you'll see that the drill has a battery and the flashlight has a battery. Cruel deception right here. 18 volt battery and charger included. Extra battery shown is sold separately. You could hear them laughing over in China or Japan or wherever this thing was made. And, um, you know, they, they duped us again. So, um, it, and, and they have to have their fun too, so you can't really blame them too much. But there you go. You got your charger. You got your extra chuck just in case you wipe out the one you have in your Makita or whatever. You got your gearbox, your clutch, your motor, your pulse width met modulation uh, circuit. You have your battery clip and your MOSFET control thingy. And <clears throat> you have your bulb, your socket, your reflector, your lens, and that pretty much concludes it. And you gotta get two of those. Now you're probably asking yourself right about now, hmm, what does Misha plan on doing with this setup? Well, let me tell you what I plan on doing. I'll show you right here. We have two of those motors. Now for some reason this gearbox is black. These two are white. I, I don't know. I built this housing right here. I don't know if you could see it too well. Bring it a little closer here. You can see here there is a top housing and a second housing. and They're sandwiched together via these bolts right in here. Now um, you're going to see lugs inside here. There's connections. The one here and one here go to this motor, the one here and the one there go to that motor. You kind of get the idea. These holes are actually for cooling because you have to be able to pull air uh, in, in through these and out through there or something. But air has to circulate past the commutator. It's very important. And as you see here, it makes a very nice assembly, right?